Hi, I got a nice email the other day. Uh, someone was asking about uh, the way I play um, A Nightingale Sang in Berkeley Square and asking if I had any tabs for it. And I, I've never written down any sort of arrangement that, that I've done. So I was going to give it a go. And then I thought, well, maybe it's easier and better, actually, if I just make a little video explaining how I might play it. Um, I don't think it's too tricky. I mean, playing an instrument in general is just tricky and takes a lot of practice, doesn't it? But um, compared to versions that some people play, hopefully this will be sort of all right and doable. Um, I put it into the key of E. And I think I normally play an E flat, and I think in the books it's usually written in E flat. But I think there's no harm in, in taking something to a more guitar-friendly key, you know, and you get to use some of the open strings and stuff. Um, but it's always fun to try it in different keys anyway. Um, I'll just do a very basic version. Oh, I'm going to play it on this um, this little guitar. I normally play seven string guitar, uh, but the only six string I could lay my hands on is this one that my girlfriend sometimes plays, which is uh, a really lovely guitar. It's a Benedetto Andy, so it sounds really nice, but it's a little bit smaller than I'm used to, and I'm, I might struggle a bit, and I'm used to seven strings as well. Um, but hopefully it'll be okay. So the tune's in... I'm only going to play the tune, maybe an intro and an ending. The tune, the tune's sort of got two sections to it, and so it's got so it's of the form A A B A, if you sort of know what that means. So the, there's a bit at the beginning, and then that bit's kind of repeated, and then there's a sort of bridge, and then it finishes with the same bit it started off with. So really, it's only uh, you know I'm only going to do 16 bars and maybe a few extra little bits, um, and hopefully it'll be helpful to somebody and. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, if you have any comments about it, you know, either email me or, or leave them uh, down below in the comments, and that'd be great. Um, okay. Well, I hope it goes okay. Okay. So I'll try the first bit then. Okay. The first chord is going to be uh, some sort of E major. So I think I think this one's going to be an E major nine, and I'm going to play it simply by barring across there with uh barring across top, top four strings on the fourth fret with my index finger and i'm going to play the and then the, the second chord is going to be some sort of uh c sharp minus seven so you probably know that little bar shape okay so the pickup note at the beginning is an open b and then i play the melody the bass note and the melody note together, or I would vary it. Sometimes I would play the melody note in front of the bass note, sometimes behind. But the the rest of the, the notes in the chord, I'd, I'd fill in afterwards. So that's just the opening bar. And then the next bar is uh, a, a G sharp minor, which I'm just going to do as a straight bar across there. And I'm going to use my little finger to play the melody note. And then it goes, um, then it goes to a, a, a sort of B minor thirteenth or something, which is basically a bar across there, and then my melody note. So bar, bar across the seventh fret, and then my melody note there. So so really, my chord shapes so far have been kind of. Uh, kind of rather basic and hopefully they all, they all feel reasonably basic so um, what was the second bar was going and then there's actually another chord to fit into this bar so after I've done that after, after I've done the B minor I'm going to do a so I'm going to so they're just so I'm just playing those three chords there while this note's ringing hopefully those three notes are going to move slightly. To, to, it's going to be a B flat seven if anyone's interested. So, uh, and then it's going to go to a, a major seventh. So I'm going to play that. It's going to be similar to my first chord, but up on the ninth fret, I, I think. So I'm just barring across maybe the top four strings and playing now I'm playing the uh, open A as a bass note 
Okay, the next thing, a couple of little chord shapes. So it's going to be, so the idea is it's a sort of um, uh, e, e flat half diminished and uh, A flat seventh. I'll probably just play on the top four strings. So you, you might recognize the second shape, it's a sort of diminished shape. And then the next chord is, it's going to be another of those minor seventh shapes. This time I'm barring across the ninth fret. Yeah. So after I do that, I'm going to go to an A minor seventh somehow and a D seventh. So that's just a sort of passing thing. Uh, Maybe I'll do it like this. So I'm playing. So where have I got to now? next chord will be an, an, another sort of uh, E major 7th so I'm going to use open bass string there and then I might do an A, a major 7th there so it's something re that's reasonably simple I should hope it's just a, there's basically just um, the melody notes and a bar going across And then the next chord you might not be familiar with, I'm going to do it with, with a bar across here. So this is a sort, an, another sort of E major. Um, so so it's going to go from this E major. So I've got the bar across. I've got this little finger up here, and then I've got the first finger here on the. So this is a nice bar. It goes to a, to a, a A minor ninth there. I could do it with the open string and the bass, I suppose. And if I've got the, if I got, if I use the open A uh, the open A string at the bottom of that minor chord, I can do that. Um, this shape's quite nice for a D seventh. That's so. That's the thirteen on the top, and then this is the. I move that index finger down and bars that bars those three strings, but I put the put my second finger here. So that bit bigger. And then like the, like the beginning. So there's a similar chord to the beginning. So uh, F sharp minor minor shape there with the with the index finger. Sorry, the little finger. This is a diminished shape. So 6th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret on the middle four strings. So where have we got to now? I have to think.
the first A section then has a bit of a turnaround. So I'd, I'd probably play this sort of thing. Or something. So that would be like a, uh, a G sharp seven with a sharp five. So that's just a bar across. And then I've got uh, these two fingers uh, on the fifth fret on the third, uh, on the second and third strings. I mean, you, you, you've got a bit of choice what you do here. T typically, um, you're just filling something in, I suppose. So that's like a, a C sharp. So the notes go like this. And if you can do what I just did there, I had my index finger barred across there, and then I used my little finger on top as a melody note. And then a bar across here for F sharp on the second fret. And then maybe the same, sh maybe do something like the same shape as um, as I just had up here, but but down two frets. So that's basically the the first A section, and apart from the ending, it's going to be very similar to the um, other two A sections. So I'll try and do it again. Um, Maybe something like just to open E, or you could do something fancy. But just basically an open E chord. Okay, so now, so now that's the that's that's the second A section ending on the open E E chord would work either for the second A section or for the last A section. So now all we've got to do is the bridge. Um, which I think will go to A flat, doesn't it? Um, if I'm in the key of E. So where have I got to? I'm, I've gone. And then it's a, uh, a B flat minor seventh. And a. Uh, e flat nine. So that so basically, I'm, I'm the way I do it. Different people have different ways of doing this. I'm holding down the uh, three strings, the D, G, and B strings, with all with my third finger, and then I put my second finger across to do the the the, the note at the bottom. I mean, you could just do this. But that's how I tend to do it. And then I should think a lot of people know it that. A sort of E flat nine shape there, so index finger there, sorry, second finger there, first finger there, and then I, the way I do it is I use this finger to bar across two or three strings. So where are we? So okay, that line, the way I would do it probably. Hopefully, if you've played a bit of jazz, you might know this. You might know this chord shape. So this is an A flat major seventh. So I've got a bass note. I've got uh, my third finger goes on the on the D string there. 
little finger there. Um, it's kind of a classic, classic chord that people use. And then I just do some single notes up to. Um, this, so this one's an F minor seventh shape, that bar shape that I, I use a similar shape. Uh, near the beginning of the A sections, but um, further down. So basically, I'm just using single notes or um, in between those two places where I just let the chords ring. So, so this would be some sort of um, B, B minor eleventh here. So I'm. Um, the way I'm doing it, first finger, top four strings, first finger on the D string, then the third finger, some some sort of um, E flat thirteenth there. I've put the flat nine in as well, so. Uh, so I've got this. I, did, I think I did a similar shape earlier on, but a, a fret down. So uh, my index finger goes across those two, two strings, but then the second finger is on the G string up there, and then the little finger plays a melody note. So it's. Okay, so that's the. Some sort of C minor seventh there. So I've just got a bar across there, and then I'm using my uh, my little finger for the melody note. This is a chord that a lot of people use. Um, I suppose it's a, a, a B diminished chord with a flat thirteenth, but um, the way it's done is uh, so. I've got my index finger here, there, third finger there, little finger there, and then the second finger reaches across the top of the bass note. So, that, so that's the um, a, a B. A B flat minor seventh, and then the next chord is a sort of E flat seventh. But the way I'm going to do it is like this, perhaps, which is uh, really, really a sort of um, A seven with a flat five. So. so, where have we got to? And then, so that's the, that's the beginning of the bridge, but then the, it does something similar. The next part of the bridge goes. So I, I went from, it started the same, I got to the C minor seventh with the, with the melody note there, by my, my little finger, and I went to the F minor seven bar chord shape. And then, then it, that all shifts up a fret. So that's just a that's just a, a F sharp minor seventh um, bar chord shape, and then it goes to some sort of B seventh, maybe with a maybe with a sharp five in there. Might sound nice. So that, so the way I do that is just uh, um, barring straight across there, and then I use these two fingers on the, the next fret up. So it's like that, and then I. So how, so how does the bridge go then? And 
then it's back to the beginning. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Um, oh, one thing I sometimes do on this tune, um, hopefully I remember how to do it, is uh, at the very end, if you, for a nice outro, if you fancy it, um, after I finish the tune and got to the open E string, I sometimes do something like, so, like, like the chord at the beginning into this C, ma this C major 7th shape here and then open the strings on the top and then um, open D with and then this this chord which is like a F7 sharp 9 you might know it sort of Jimi Hendrix sounding chord and then finish on some some weird sort of uh, weird sort of E chord. I d um, like a major sharp eleven sharp nine or some whatever it is. Don't know how to don't, I don't know how to spell this chord, but um, some, it's sometimes a nice weird chord to finish on. So I've got a bar across the four strings, and then these two fingers. On the on the B and G strings, two frets up, and I'm playing the open E at the bottom. So how's that? How's the ending going to sound? So a bit spooky at the ending, or whatever. Hello again. Well, hopefully that was helpful. Um, I'm not sure I'd played it very well, but hopefully you get a, a, a feel for how it's supposed to sound. Um, I do have another video uh, on my channel uh, where I play it, um, on my seven string guitar. Um, but I think I played it in E flat there. Um, I think the trick, if you can, is is to try and, try and make the melody note really stand out. Um, if you can't get all the chords under your fingers, then concentrate on making the melody note ring out and, and maybe a bit of support with a bass note underneath um, and try and make the melody as smooth as possible. The chords I used are kind of simple. They haven't got, you know, compared to what a lot of jazz people do. Um, but I think keeping it simple helps everything flow. And if I tried to put in lots of odd chords, I'd probably, uh, I'd probably end up making it sound uh, a bit stilted though that's a, a nice approach as well is to try and make as fancy chords as possible but it's uh, it's not what I did on this video uh, yeah and I hope you found it helpful <laughs>